So in this video, I need to really talk to you guys about a very important date for anyone who is invested in cryptocurrency, okay? And that date is, I'm not just going to waste you guys time. That date is April 26, 2024. Now, what's so important about this date? This is Bitcoin's halving date, okay? The next halving is scheduled to take place at 26. So the next halving is scheduled to take place on April the 26th, 2024, 11.34 a.m. So why is this date so important? So for those of you who don't know why the Bitcoin halving date is so important, let me go over to another chart and explain what that means. And quickly, I'll just explain what that means. Essentially, it just means that Bitcoin gets more rarer. But if Bitcoin gets more rarer, why doesn't the price increase? Well, take a look at this chart. So right here, what you're looking at is the price of Bitcoin from its inception. And these yellow lines that you can see right down here are every single time the price of Bitcoin has halved. Now, what also you may realize if you are great at pattern recognition is that every single time Bitcoin halves, there are two small pumps, okay? Now, you can see right here that early on in 2012, we had a pump to $1,000, then a minor pullback and a small pump to $500. Then, of course, we had the 2017 bull market pumped to $20,000, then a small pullback and then another pump to $14,000, and then, of course, the third halving. Then, of course, we had the recent bull market, which went all the way up to around $69,000. Then, of course, we had the pullback, which was recent. Now, of course, currently, it seems like we're having that small pump again. Now, remember, these small pumps aren't going to be fully lived. But at the same time, you have to understand that price usually levels out from these areas. Now, why did I make this video stating that this date is very important? It's because if we look at every single time the halving does occur, we can see that pr the price of Bitcoin increases substantially. Now, when the price of Bitcoin increases this much over the next couple of, you know, whether it be six months or eight months, you have to understand that that is when there is going to be millions and billions of dollars made in cryptocurrency. Now, albeit there is going to be billions of dollars lost and hopefully some exchanges don't go bust. But at the same time, it presents a very good opportunity for you to change your life. OK, and that means that on that date or at least before that date, you need to start positioning yourself so that you're going to be able to take advantage of this, because I can guarantee you when the last halving took place, a lot of people didn't position themselves properly. Now, it's important to understand where the price of Bitcoin is going to be before the halving so that we know when exactly we can buy. And of course, that when we can get those altcoins dirt cheap and everyone is going to be selling them so that when the eventual bull market does actually come and we do skyrocket to, I don't think we're going to go to 200k, I think maybe 110 simply because of diminishing returns and just the numerous videos I've watched, we can then of course profit. So with that being said, I do think that this date right here is going to be coming very, very soon and sooner than you think. Time does fly very quickly and you have to understand that once this date does occur, the price of Bitcoin is going to be going in its next bull market. Now, what we have to understand is that right now, Bitcoin has broken out of its complete downtrend, okay? And this isn't something that is too crazy, to be honest with you guys. This was something that we did talk about for quite some time. But at the same time, we need to understand where the price of Bitcoin is going to be over the next couple of years and months. Now, the thing is, Bitcoin looks like it's going to be going to around $30,000 and just simply ranging until that halving. But this gives us a window of opportunity because, of course, there's going to be this lull and there's going to be this period of decline. That is going to be the specific period of where you want to buy your altcoins you can see that right here during this yellow periods that is where it would have been the best time to buy these coins so what we want to know is that before april the 24th there's going to be a period where bitcoin peaks out you can see right here it peaks out at 500 dollars. right here it peaks out at 14 000. right here it's allegedly going to peak out at 50 thousand dollars now if it does happen to peak at around 50 thousand dollars let's give or take $10,000 because anything can happen. That means when Bitcoin in the next company couple of months reaches around $40,000, which it is likely going to do, okay, based on previous price predictions, nothing is a guarantee. This is pure speculation. That means at around that date, we need to be sure that we are actually selling our altcoins, okay? Whatever crypto you have, that is when I would be hitting the sell button. Now, some people be like, wait, why would I hold? Of course, if there are some crypto that you want to hold for a very long time, for me, I'm holding some personal projects for the next several years because I do believe in them that much. Of course, I'm not going to want to sell them if they aren't going to be under the price that I bought them at. So, of course, when this price starts to come down, that specific date, 
I mean, three months before that. So let's say maybe around January or February or even March, that's when we need to start acquiring altcoins, okay? And that is a date that you need to have in mind, okay? Two months, three months, four months before April 2024. So maybe at like the end of this year or the start of next year, what you want to be doing is you want to be acquiring altcoins. Bitcoin is likely going to be decreasing and that is the golden window, okay? The golden window where people are panicking and I think this is exactly what's going to happen, okay? Price action is going to increase to about $40,000. People are going to be screaming, oh my God, we're in a new bull market. And that's when everything comes down, okay? Like clockwork, like it has every single time before, okay? Remember, we have the historical data that shows us that this does happen, okay? Now, when this does happen, this is where we want to get in. And like I said already, we need to pick the altcoin specifically because if we do, then of course, we're going to be making easy gains. Now, what I'm going to be doing is during this period at around... I do believe it's going to be around maybe the end of the year or the start of the year in 2024. I'm going to be picking up tons of coins cheap because I do know that the prices will have decreased. Now, of course, you have to understand that there is still some gains to be made. At the time of releasing this video, Bitcoin is only at around $28,000, which means that it still has a decent amount to go before it reaches that $30,000 to $40,000 range at the end of the year. So me personally, I am still going to be buying as well and I'm going to be making sure that I'm positioned in the best place possible to get those altcoins at dirt cheap and that's why i made this video because if someone had made this video in the recent year and they were like look price action is going to decrease okay at 2020 and just before 2020 that's when you want to be acquiring bitcoin i would have been like thank you so much and i did actually acquire some bitcoin back then it was in a video it literally has 100 views before the channel blew up um and you can see right there you would have literally made a ton of money so during that period, okay, you have to understand that there's going to be a lot of tokens that are going to be on sale. And my advice to you would be, even though I'm not a financial advisor, this is not financial advice. I would say that what I'm going to be doing is I'm going to be acquiring some Bitcoin down here. Maybe it's going to be around 30,000 to 28,000. I'm also going to be acquiring some AI altcoins because I think AI is going to be going crazy. I may even pick up some NFTs because this bull run for 2024 is going to be pretty, pretty epic, okay? There's going to be a lot of things changing in society, and I do think it still is going to be an AI bull run, and I'm going to be <clears throat> pleasantly surprised at what we do have. So this video, although it wasn't a super long detailed video about many different price predictions and stuff like that, um, and I know you might think, where's the price of Bitcoin going to be tomorrow or, you know, three days from now, understand that the longer time frame you have, the more you're going to be able to see and the better of a picture you're going to have because nobody looks at the long time frame because it's too long, but that's where the massive gains are made. And I do think that, like I said, at around those specific dates, at around January, March, when the price of Bitcoin hopefully does come down and people are saying, oh, we got scammed, it was a fake bull market, that is when I'm going to be acquiring coins. So with that being said, okay, let me know what your thoughts are on the recent Bitcoin rally. I do think that this rally was pretty easy to spot. If I'm being honest with you guys, it, it wasn't rocket science, but um, let me know what you guys do think about the price of Bitcoin. Do you think that this price is justified? Do you think price action is going to be coming down? Do you think that Bitcoin is just straight into a new bull market? I do think it is going to be a bull market. And I do think that's going to be the period of consolidation before price action moves up. Let me know what you think. Uh, hopefully this video provided you with some level of information um, and if you do want to check out leave leave a comment down below let me know what you think and i'll see you guys in the next one